really one job. I had one job. What? Oh, damn it. I tried so bloody hard for that. I was like, I gotta find a Star Wars thing. It's Star Wars. It's the 4th of May. So it's Star Wars Day. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Pisses me off. Fine. Fuck it, so we'll do it live. Yeah. What is that? Wow. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Professionalism. Piece of shit. God damn it. Everybody hold on. I'm not done. <laughs> I am not done. What are you doing? Oh, now it plays? Now it plays? Now, oh, you are not there! God damn it! This is not starting how I thought it would start. Is it not? There is no, no margin, margin for error with Steve. No. Right. I, I, do this I, are again. you able to do this? Shut up. Yes, today is Star Wars Day. And listen to the music play without fault. Or as Big Ben says, how most of our shows go. <laughs> Fuck you, get off my show. God damn it. Right here, right here is a free advert for Samsung. Asus, you piece of shit, useless fucking pretend computer company. You pile of useless, <laughs> worthless, motherfucking plastic, <laughs> silicon, and a little bit of titanium thrown in. Sponsor us. Asus, don't you dare sponsor us. I have no... Uh, Asus are the best people ever. No, I could probably do that. Are you, like, treating them like your I, elementary school girlfriend? Well, I decided... You'd be mean to them, so they like you. <laughs> My elementary school girlfriend. <laughs> elementary. What age is Elementary. Kids, like up to sixth grade. Oh, Tara like, Deacon. Oh, yeah. He... Yeah, she was the school slut, and I'm so fucking into her. Well, I wish I was. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> How about oh, a messy who just joined us in the Paris She chat got room sent as well? home, right? She was 10 years old. She got sent home for what she came to school in. She came to school in a sweater and high heels. That was it. Ow. Uh, just to make a point, <gasps> that's kind of what Hermione was trying to wear to school the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. I had to Jesus. say, no, you need to wear pants with that. She's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been... Yeah. Yeah, no, she's definitely not, because I know at 10 years old what was going through my head when Tara Deacon turned up in that. <laughs> and believe me, all I thought about was her. And I didn't even fully understand where it all was at that point. <laughs> I just knew that there was something on me that needed to be in her. Stat. It's okay. I was ten at the time. It's not Peter Field. Leah. Peter mm -hmm. Do we do we have Leah. that one on here? Damn it! I don't have no, that one. No, he's not into a sixth grade girl anymore. I mean, he might be, but he has. No, told I'm us, not. No, I'm talking about gay Steve. He was in sixth grade at the time, anyways. No, I was talking about gay Steve. Dot com. Yeah. No, it was when I was ten, Marcus. You you accusatory predator <laughs> target pervert person. I saw his post. So he posts. Marcus posted a picture yesterday of himself shopping at Target with flip flops on. Yes. So, with a maxi dress in his basket. <laughs> You'll only get that if you heard yesterday's. Or you read the news. <sighs> this show is brought to you by the Samsung Note 3, which is currently powering our um, music deck. It's a real pain because I had other stuff I wanted to play today, and now I can't play it. Okay. No, it's not okay. Well, okay, it's not like it ever goes well. No, I guess not. I had such plans for today's show, and it was ruined by Asus. <laughs> Asus basically just... Maybe Anakin has the power to fix it right now. Well, he certainly isn't invested in Asus. That's for sure. <laughs> Asus is like the... Well, it's the lesser <laughs> known, you know. The, obviously, you've got, you know, the... the uh, is what is cool it? The Imperial... No, what are, what are they called? The Imperial... No. Stormtroopers? No, no, but what's their... You know, there's the Rebel Alliance, uh -huh. right? And then there's... I don't... The, the, I don't what are the they? Imperials. 
No, the they're em- not the Imperials. That doesn't sound right. It sounds like a jacked up version of Millennials. The Empire. There we go. So we've got Empire. Right. And we've got the... Rebels. Rebels. Thank you. <laughs> and then there was the lesser known Jewish front of the people. <laughs> JFP. Yeah. Or the front of the Jewish people. Every Life of Brian person is understanding this right now. Okay. I'm really going to lost. Okay. Never mind. Wow, Messi doesn't like Star Wars. He says, no, waste of fucking time. <laughs> you know what else is a waste of time? Oh, what's that? Spain. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. How's your economy, sunshine? Oh, that's right. <laughs> kind of like the rebels' uh, finances, right? <laughs> <They're> sketchy. Uh, <laughs> I, it's it's actually funny. I, I've never really been like a huge Star Wars fan. Uh, that's really kind of it's not my bag. No, I mean no, I like you're not. it. I like it. But you're but... Not really excited. You're not a Star Wars fan. You didn't mm-hmm. even really watch them much until after we got married. But I did. I and... just wasn't allowed to. Right. But you didn't ever really care about it. But when this last movie came out, you I like cho- went fucking mental I about chose, it. I chose. I mm-hmm. chose a Star Wars film. I will never forgive George Lucas for this one. <laughs> I chose a Star Wars film over being able to have a bed for the night. <laughs> that was a choice I actually had to make. And I slept in a car park that night because I wanted to watch the film instead. That's really sad. I, honestly, when I say it like that, it does sound really wow, sad. Wow, is thinking Stephanie about it. saying it's a total waste of time as well? Well, you don't get it. Both Messi and, and I think Stephanie are both Oh, the two girls in there room got it All right. <laughs> this, this Spaniard and the German mm-hmm. yeah yeah but Messi's just leaning back going uh, I don't know about other Star Wars I am French for this particular bit <laughs> I don't know do you know the Star Wars it's just Spanish. what is it it's just silly it's men running Spanish. running costumes I can't do a Spanish accent <laughs> so Messi is French evident. for the purpose of this <sighs> god damn it <sighs> No, I, I, I haven't been a, a huge fan of Star Wars. I'm more into Star Trek than I am <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. So, And it's kind of funny because Star Trek is kind of like... That's kind of gay Star Wars, really. <laughs> yeah. it, I mean, it is, really. You know, William Shatner and just, you know... just it's. Uh, yeah, you don't have to sell that to I, me. I, I, <laughs> I get I, it completely. I know. <laughs> uh, Stephanie said that's awful, too. Yeah, I agree. I'm not... I'm not a big fan of either. If I had to choose one, I'd say Star Wars. Well, my 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 statement to Stephanie and Messi Mm -hmm. would be: our space program would not have been advanced as much as it did without Star Wars and Star Trek, because both of those inspired so many, so much of the technology. Star Wars inspired technology. Yeah, little known fact: astronauts actually take lightsabers when they go into space. (laughs) Yes, they do. No, they it really does. By the way. No. What'd you do with okay, it? Okay, the first space I shuttle. What was it called? Enterprise. Why? It was inspired after Star Trek. It was. It's a driving force. So many of today's, like, you know, well, now they're old, but, you know, the, the scientists that kind of moved along all the technologies in the 80s were inspired by those films. So it's actually, you know, we wouldn't be where we were. Touch screen. Geek that was all inspired. Space. Yeah, right. absolutely. We all sit there doing circle jerks. Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I get that, you know, a lot of it was, and a lot of it was inspired from Star Trek, especially. Especially, mm-hmm. like, you know, the handheld phone and things and the touch screens and stuff like that. I, I get that. But Star Wars, I really can't see a whole lot that was actually used. What, Star Wars? Yeah. Um, well, um, you know, Stephanie your, your American like god, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> started Star Wars. I mean, he, he that was the whole... Well, you think it was called Star Wars because he was just searching for a name? No. It's just, you know. Why did he call it that? Because it was Star Wars. That was oh, a, that okay. was the whole point, you know. It was... Now, Stephanie said her and Marcus are complete opposites on this. She hates it, and Marcus loves it. And as a side note, Marcus said just because you fucked George t- um, doesn't mean you are into Star Trek. Oh, really? <laughs> um... I actually don't like George Takaki. I just I think he's just he's ridiculous. And, and uh, Messi said using your um, uh, analogy that means that the alien and predators exist somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well, the chance... It's more likely that Alien or Predator exists in our universe than, than Star Wars or Star Trek. Well, Star Trek doesn't yet, obviously. But Star Trek will, ultimately, mm-hmm. will exist in our universe. Because mm-hmm. we'll get there. You know why? Because some of us are inspired. <laughs> you see, Stephanie and Messi, not all of us can be inspired <laughs> by a new pair of fucking shoes. <laughs> uh, I don't know about other Star Wars. I, I, I need to go buy some new He's pumps. French! He is French for my bit. <laughs> But I think he liked your shoes comment. Um, <laughs> and Stephanie's comment was blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's right. Typical woman. Oh, come on. You would be the first one to go fucking shoe shopping with them. Yeah, actually. Tell I me would. I'm wrong. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. I, I don't... I've, I've never really understood. Nobody understands that I'm constantly hypocritical. I, I pretty much most of what it. I say contradicts something else I say the day before. I don't have a set of values. I don't know when people are going to understand this. <laughs> My values yeah. depend on how I feel when I wake up that day. Mm-hmm. You know, one day, totally pro-transgender. Next day, fucking hate the fags. Can't stand it. <laughs> Following day, no, they're all right. They should be able to have a pee wherever <laughs> they want. Next day, fuck, get out of my bathroom. <laughs> Let me check to see if you have a vagina. <laughs> Stephanie said she's not a shoe shopper. That would be Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, Marcus, me and Messi can go shopping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, that's it. An American Englishman and a Spaniard go shopping. It's like a joke, isn't it? <laughs> There's an American and a Spaniard and a British person, and they all walk into a bar. And the one says, I'll have a cocktail martini. <laughs> and Steve goes, I've already got the cock. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an for that. around the mall. It's like the shoe shopping essence. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So it's basically DJ Ken and and and, and right. Steve, yeah. yeah, and Gay Steve, mm-hmm. yeah, big Gay Steve. <laughs> That's what I need to be. I really, I, I really should. Uh, there we go. You see, Lennon will come shopping with us as well. He's into shoe shopping. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the men going out shopping. Okay, I don't want to go shoe. I, I- Okay, so Stephanie doesn't like shoe shopping. I don't like shoe shopping. I love shoe shopping. What? It's great because you have a woman down in front of your knees, attending to your foot attire pretty good do you always have women put your shoes on for you if they're hot and they've got a low top yeah <laughs> slip my my slipper on see if it fits you into feet uh, messi has m- mentioned a couple of times this morning already I yellow uh, nail hmm? uh, that he can't wait for the um iphone 10 <laughs> steve would you care to um discuss uh, i have no actually <laughs> ability of the technologies Sorry, that's when an app is not user. iPhone. It's the operating system ten. Operating iOS system 10. iOS ten oh, is coming out. Okay. <laughs> really, we're gonna well, do I Apple. Mean, are we gonna do Apple? I mean, okay. To be fair, he's a DJ, so Macs are better <sighs> for that. No, they're not. Oh my god, it's so fucking ridiculous. Based on. Oh my god. Based on based, all all Mac laptops are underpowered. And- it's basically what they've done is taken a turd and wrapped it in titanium. That's all they've done. That's pretty much every Apple product out there. It's underpowered. It uses technology that's at least 18 months behind the curve. And that goes across the board. <laughs> uh, no, but it just works. Have you ever tried anything other than what it tells you to do? <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. God, I hate it. says Mac operating systems are best than, better than Windows. No, they're so not. Uh, based on <laughs> what? Based on what? Based on a... Uh, I, I, it has I, I, circle men- tiles neck- at the bottom instead of squares. Yeah. <laughs> Slower machines. They're at, from a technology standpoint, Apple is inferior to pretty much anything else. Even Asus. <laughs> but I get... Big B wants to know who's got the best tech. I, right now, I would say Samsung have the best phones. And I would say that the new Windows laptop is probably hands down the best laptop out there. That Surface so thing they've got now? No, I can't afford that. Oh, the Surface one. Yeah, it yeah, starts at 1500 cool. mm-hmm. It's like, hey, Mac, you know you got an expensive laptop? <laughs> Look at mine now. Uh, so Messi said Windows 10's features come from Mac operating system. No, oh, X. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I knew where this was going. I just had to do it. <sighs> and, and Stephanie loves how easily the, you get irritated. The entire... The entire... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> said the multi-desktop 
I, I <laughs> really, really, yeah, that's right. Nobody had multi desktop before Apple. Just because it's new to Apple doesn't mean it's new to it's everybody. It's the funniest else. thing. It was like when FaceTime came out. Every, oh my God, look, I got FaceTime. Oh, you mean Skype? No, this is FaceTime. This is totally different. How is it different? <laughs> oh, you can do video chat. Oh, you can video chat anybody. No, they got to have FaceTime. He said Windows is in ruin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You keep telling yourself that. Like viruses. Spain. That was his comment on viruses. Really? Yeah, that's right. You see, there's a certain amount of... Um... Oh, Jesus. Do I keep biting? Yeah, fuck it. Trojan Trojan and backdoors and worms. Okay, you're, you're aware... You're, you are aware that there are viruses for Macs constantly, right? And the, and, and the biggest problem that you have with Macs is that people are just not interested in writing viruses for those because the penetration of how many people it's changing now because it used to be Macs just simply weren't as popular as as uh you know windows machines mm -hmm. nobody wrote viruses for them but now because the, now because it's turning and you've got it's not that you can't write a virus for a mac you fucking can He's and a they hacker. are nasty yeah no <laughs> <laughs> homeland security no no not no i'm now. not <laughs> Apple, uh, Apple, uh, Mac books, though, because they're becoming more popular now, yes, viruses are starting to be written. Vir you've got to think of why a virus is written. It's used for somebody else to be able to generally take control and to be able to do something. You can only do that when you have a certain penetration level of the market. Mm -hmm. And laptops now have it. Jesus, I don't want to talk about technology because I'm too smart. <sighs> Let's talk about hot aliens. <laughs> Which in my book is Selena Gomez. That's still going on, but we'll just we'll just stop now. I, you know, here's the thing. You know, the thing with that fuck it. Uh, the thing, <laughs> the thing, the thing with Apple is, you know, I I get it. That there's a mm -hmm. there is a preference, right? And the specs that you have on MacBook <laughs> machines are simply inferior to any. High equivalent priced laptop from, from using Windows based. Mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of fact. And I've used Apple stuff. I have some Apple stuff here. It is not as fast as its counterpart in the Windows environment. So it's, you know, it can. Hey, if you want to say Apple is the best thing in the world, go, go right ahead. But just know that everybody that understands technology is laughing at you. I rest my case. <laughs> Apparently everybody else is, or you know, Windows and Android users, because everybody else has just been totally silent. Yeah. <laughs> Messi's like, no graphics, no. I'm it isn't. It, it really isn't. <laughs> it, 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 there, the graphics processor on the Mac is no better than you can get on a decent. P if you compare a, tw you know, like a two thousand dollar MacBook Pro to a two hundred dollar laptop, of course it's going to outperform. Uh, Messi said Microsoft is copying Apple. Apple's giving for free the operating system X since 2012. No, they're not copying. <laughs> you don't understand. Jesus Christ, man. There's a thing called the internet, right? Open it up, right? And type in who came up. Even the iPhone wasn't a fucking original idea. My Apple has copied every... The only thing that I can see that was kind of original from Apple, and I mean going right back to their very first computer, was iTunes. And even then, you could argue that technically kind of Napster was already there before. Mm. Everything Apple has ever done has been st a stolen idea. Their original computer was stolen from original part. I mean, yeah, it was an open source. It was Unix, whatever. But, um, mm. but I mean, it, it's, it wasn't original. And, and he's saying Windows Jesus Christ, costs you money. can see. It actually doesn't. What? He says Windows costs money. Well, no, Windows 10 has been a free upgrade. Yep. You know, I mean, if Messi just keeps looking at his <laughs> transgender incest porn, then that's all he uses it for, then that is going to be completely <laughs> fine. But if he wants to do anything <clears throat> else... Uh, Stephanie says gonna... she considers herself a very intelligent person, but listening to all this, she feels really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know about tech shit, ask Steve. She says she's done with computers. I'm actually... Hang on. Read that. I'm actually leaving Android in January... Android in January because I'm sick of being tethered to the charger all day. Oh, dude, you wait till you get a fucking Apple. <laughs> you think you think battery life is bad on a fucking Android? You wait. <laughs> oh my god! And it's yeah. true. There are some there are some Android devices that are shit, and that's mm -hmm. the thing. That's why I said right now, kind of Samsung is kind of up there. Mm -hmm. But you, <laughs> yeah, it's not you wait. Not necessarily just Android. It's just the certain phone. Yeah, manufacturers it's the phones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Android, of course, is Google. It's got nothing to do with with. Uh, 
you know, Windows. The Windows, the Windows phone never took off. Not yet. But it will. But I had, I got that one. That was the one I got, mm-hmm. right? It was crap. Yeah. The problem was that th- there wasn't enough apps for it. Yeah. And this is why, when you think about it, right, think of the typical Mac user, right? And I'm not going to be rude here, right? But they use their Mac to do what? To write emails, surf Facebook. It's, it's fucking stuff a Chromebook can do, right? Then you've got the creative types that use Mac. Like Messi. Right. Where he's saying he can and only edit sound on Mac. It doesn't work no, on Windows. Oh, no, yes, yeah, you can. The prob- man, let's kick ass. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's the problem. No, but that's the problem with Apple. Is that, yeah, you, you know, because you use a particular kind of software, you're tethered to it because mm-hmm. it's not... They, they, ripe, they um, rope in a licensing agreement solidly mm-hmm. with that company. Yep. So you're stuck. I, I use Adobe Audition all day long for editing software, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, editing audio. It's fine. There's nothing on the market that's better than that. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go into DJ software, yeah. there's equivalence. You're, you're using a Windows-based, what is it? What's your DJ software? Ser- Serotocin? Serato. <laughs> Serato. Mm-hmm. I knew it was yeah. something like that. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, but Marcus, you see, you're but saying I've means... had an iPhone, it wasn't like that. Dude, you are comparing two different technologies. That's the iPhone you remember that you were using, right, was an underpowered machine. You, you got to weigh them up. I, I mean, just look at it. Batteries of iPhones are no better than a decent Samsung phone. It, it, just, it just isn't. And yes, Big B, Adobe rules. And Adobe's cool because it, it's for both platforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've seen Adobe run on a fucking MacBook, and I, I'm not impressed. Messi, Messi said he's lost projects just because Windows is buggy, blue screen every day. Then you, dude, need a new what were you, what were you using? <laughs> Windows ninety five? There hasn't. I honestly, now I am. There's no when it comes to anymore. tech. When it comes to tech, I I abuse this. I am like I am like the abusive husband to my Windows computer. Yeah. I batter the shit out of this thing daily. He even came inside it once. Yes, I do. Regularly. That's why I said it was Windows 7. Windows Windows 8 was crap. Windows 8, everybody kind of just goes, "Eh, whatever. (laughs) Uh, Windows 7, Mm -hmm. I never had a blue screen. If you have that, dude, if you actually look at what the blue screen is, nine times out of ten, that's going to be your hardware. And that's probably the memory chips. And if you've bought a stock laptop... That's the issue. They put cheap, shitty memory sticks in. You know why? Because you can buy a laptop for five hundred dollars as opposed to fifteen hundred dollars for a MacBook, and that's the difference. It's just a build quality. He said he uses a lot of hardware. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> Everything in my studio is hard, <sighs> especially when I'm making the music. Everything gets wet and hard. <sighs> Messy out all over my keyboard. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's Star Wars Day. Let's get off fucking laptops and Apple and oh my god and things like that. <sighs> oh god, really, Big B? We're going to keep doing this. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Only Bang USB two, USB three has the power to it. Yeah, I mean USB three mm-hmm. is obviously better, um, mm-hmm. but I mean. A- <laughs> No, fuck it. I'm going to carry on. No, Apple. <laughs> Apple fucked their own users. I, I, I'm. By the way, Big B's on um, uh, iOS. I yeah. I Just I'm saying. I'm very, <laughs> I, you know I and from putting my business hat on, I'm fascinated with how Apple run their marketing like they do because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean the whole charger issue that went on for years. I mean Jesus Christ, proprietary mm-hmm. fucking chargers. What are you all dumbasses? I, it bugs the hell out of me. I got an iPhone and an iPad, and they're fucking different chargers. I'm like, really? How does that even work? Mm-hmm. And then, on top of all that, of course, now the the new the new Mac stuff coming out is they it's uh, uh, no, is it the iPhone or something? They're actually changing the head the headphone plug. You now no longer can use generic headphones. Uh, apparently, there was a photo leak today, and mm-hmm. they're saying yes, it looks like you actually it's the same. It's the same one. Yeah, they haven't said they haven't said anything, mm-hmm. but I saw a picture and it was okay. just something, right. and they're going, okay. "No, it looks like there is one." Okay, so. <laughs> wait. Yeah. So. <laughs> so anyway, that's you know. What iPhone is this? It's like a seven. Or? Seven, it should be now. I thought they were going back to dealing with computers. I remember dealing with you Apple users. Oh my god, <laughs> I had a Dell Streak. That was the first five-inch phone. I remember so many. Oh my god, I can't believe that you have a phone that big. 
I mean, why would you possibly need a screen that big? I don't know, so I can take dick pics. <laughs> and now iPhones. Oh my God, look at my iPhone. Look, it's a six. That means it's six. Ugh. I'm, I've tried to like Apple. I'm, you did. I'm still bouncing backwards and forwards whether to get a MacBook Pro as my laptop. I'm, I'm, Aww. I'm, you know, just, just from a. Uh, do I use that one? Because I don't do a lot of the stuff that I used to. Oh, he has over right. 200 apps on his iPhone. Why? <laughs> what iPhone does he have? I don't know. Well, that, that's what I'd like to know. What does he what have? IPhone an iPhone do you have? six or? Let's see. Well, yeah, obviously it wouldn't be the seven because that's not out yet. Well, oh, I, I know, but know it might have been a five. Oh, yeah. Or a four. Well, it wouldn't be. a He four, strikes me as he would over. have. He would have he's, the most. I, I know. He's a, he's a he's like a EDM type but person, like right? Six plus. So he has he has the six plus. Yeah. So I get it. Sounds I mean, you know, I, I just you know whatever. <laughs> can we do Star Wars? Yeah, we can do Star Wars. <sighs> kind of disappointed now. Okay, hot aliens. What there Star Wars? Okay, so so okay, so here's a good one. So, what position? Uh, who's who's the best lover on the <laughs> Empire side, and who's the best lover on the Rebel side? Let's have a think about this. Uh, Stormtroopers a missionary. You know, Stormtroopers a missionary, <laughs> right? So, in the Empire, who gets freaky deaky in under the sheets? Count Dooku. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Good. Yeah. That's kink. dot com written all over it, isn't it? <laughs> that's uh, good. Also, uh, Mace Windu. Mace Windu is not Who's Mace Empire. Windu? Uh, sorry, wrong person. Good. Okay. Yeah. I, I said a Star Wars name. You that's did. like. Yeah, yeah. You was on the wrong side. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah no, and uh, it just makes you look like an Apple user. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he just said that about the Apple. <laughs> Apple is awesome. Oh no! Hang on. Okay, so who, who am I looking at for <laughs> French people? Don't say the word. Okay, awesome. so he's on the wrong side. So Bobo. Uh, okay, so Boba Fett. so uh, Bobo Fett. You see, Bobo Fett. I don't know. I kind of see Bobo Fett is kind of a more of he's probably he Bobo Fett's always stood at the edge of the bed. She's got to be lying on her back <laughs> on the bed, and Bobo Fett's just there, just doing that. He's just. I don't think he's very. I think he's lazy. You know, Darth Maul. I. Darth Maul is gay. <laughs> Darth Maul, you know fully well that double-ended lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, he he's been dual fucking. Now, 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 for everybody that's just listening, um, sorry if you're <laughs> um, Ethan actually is having like a throwback oh, Star Wars oh, he, day. He is. Can we? I can't see because can I got too many fucking boxes in here. Okay, so there you go. Ethan has got his <laughs> shirt on today. That's awesome. The Anakin braid. Yes, yeah. yeah I know. Trademark. I know. I know. It's good. It's good. So. <laughs> so. I haven't braided his hair in a long time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having to get the young young Anakin out of my head so I can focus on what the older Anakin fucks like. Um, what was Darth Vader? Well, no, the in between one. Oh, the in between one. He, oh, he was so he was cool. probably okay. So in between at Anakin, the one before he went bad. No, but <laughs> as he was going bad. See, I don't think any of the Empire. I think they're all really bad lovers. I think all the, the Empire. Empire. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. See Count that. Dooku. Yeah, I think that's, you're right. That's hardcore kink going on down there. You know, he's he's <laughs> yeah. he's got stormtroopers like tied up, spread eagled. You mm-hmm. know, he fucks them with bits of androids. Messi wanted to know who was that girl. I could sing the song. Beautiful Ethernet. Who's that girl? <laughs> Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. um, you want to okay, see my so, man buns? Um, yeah, I I don't know who would be good. I mean, I I I think I think your Count Dooku is definitely the. I think I think that's he's definitely the mm-hmm. kinkiest one. I just I can't think. Yeah. Okay. So Darth Vader looks like. I, I think Darth Vader would just have trouble getting it up generally. He probably has an ED issue. You know, I'm just like, he's probably very conscious that his dick is as hideous Robotic? as his... No, well, I don't think it's He probably has robot. one of those pump-up dicks. No, I bet you he's a tucker. <laughs> I bet you he tucks. That that suit... <laughs> yeah, I bet you he tucks. I bet you he, like, <laughs> drops it right in. Probably feeds the balls into the pelvic area as well. Jesus. I bet you he's got a beautifully smooth scrotum area. So yeah, I yeah, not really, very, very good. I don't really like those. 
What about the red? What are the red stormtroopers? What are those called? The, the Imperial? Crim- the Crimson Guard? Cr- uh, Crimson something. Is it? Okay, so. I don't know anything about Star Wars to be talking about Star I, Wars I today. Think, I think that in their, their long flowing capes, I think there is a slit in the front and their penis just comes out in there. But you can't really see them getting into any kind of wild positions. But the moment you go to the rebel area, mm-hmm. man, there are plenty there. There's the Royal Guard. Han Solo's a dick while he has sex. You know, he's just, he's arms behind his head, laying back, letting the lady do all the work, right? <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Luke Skywalker yeah. is pre-cum. He just pre-ejaculates all the time. <laughs> he's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, you can you can Yeah, I can tell see that. that. Um, but, you know, I think I, Yoda. Obi-Wan? Uh, <laughs> boys. <laughs> he's Herbert. The, <laughs> he's Herbert. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi is Herbert the pervert. <laughs> He has to be. What about Qui Gon Jinn? Who's Qui Gon Jinn? Liam Neeson. Oh, Liam. Yeah, I can't imagine him having like very. I, I think. I think he's probably. I think he likes his women in doggy fashion, so he's probably into Wookies, but he definitely wants them on all fours. Lando Calrissian. Oh, okay. my man. Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't probably ha- puts on he like seventies have- soul music. He, no, he, that's exactly. What he I was doesn't. Saying. He doesn't have sex with a woman. He has sex with women. Probably. He's just yeah. like, huh? I'm slacking. There's only five beautiful women in here tonight. Yeah, I'm still there. Now, see, Big B's kind of got a point. He I'm said R two D two is probably the best lover. Well, he has that little he thing that, that little sticks thing out that, that rotates. Can, yeah, he can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can deal with or, that, that gives electrical shocks to people. So. Yeah, I was going to say, or he could be the most effective killer ever. Mm-hmm. So I, I, R2-D2 is just... I wouldn't want to hear that scream. Well, I've heard him scream, but that would be off-putting, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> Although he could probably <laughs> hold multiple women in position. He'd probably be a good wingman if you were an <laughs> imperial rapist, I guess. So... Well, my, if, my if head R2-D2 is going to very had, dark. If R2-D2 had an orgasm, it'd be that very iconic, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually yeah, very good. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not on anything, right? Because that was really <laughs> awesome. That was really cool. We need to be able to pull that back whenever we need. That's cool. Um, yeah, uh, let's have a look. Um, uh, now, who's that one? Princess... Um, pa- Parme, uh, the- Pardame, Padme, Padme, Padme. She's she's the one that married Anakin. Natalie Portman. Well, we all want her to be into kinky shit. Let's face it. All right, <laughs> we all want her to be really, really, really dirty in bed. But I don't think she is. I think she's kind of. I think she's probably very frigid. You think she is? Yeah, I got it. I I I'm pretty sure you could probably have a tongue on her for a good thirty minutes and she wouldn't even move. Maybe. She'd just be like, "I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet." Just like, nor am I. C-3PO, <laughs> come here. I got a job for you. <laughs> Give me a finger. So. Messi said the fav- his favorite part about Star Wars is the credits when it's all over. <laughs> so. Dude, okay. He, how, Messi, how old are you? I, I, I can't remember how old he is. I don't know is, how but, old I mean, Messi it's is. like, you know, I'm in my 40s. Princess Leia was fucking hot. I mean, that was. Yeah, I don't think he's as old I as you. I crispied up a number of socks problem. to her in the day. Nice. Back in the day. He's 32. Oh, okay, yeah. So, uh, oh, no, you're about to turn no, out. He's, no, he's... You missed the whole Princess Leia thing. There's a, there's a, there was a thing. When Princess Leia came out, pretty much everybody went, wow. And look at the way she says the letter O. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much what we all did. And then Return of the Jedi came out. And from that moment on, geeks everywhere have been able to get hard with a basically a brass bikini. It is, it that is, is but uh, so Jabba the Hutt is definitely more of a voyeur. He kind of just sits there. I, he's probably into hardcore lesbian sex, but he just <laughs> likes it happening around him. So he's probably and probably throws in the odd monster just to kind of mix it up a bit. Something with like fifteen dicks. <laughs> I want you to put a girl on every. I can't do Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my god! I want to. I want a girl on every single dick of that monster. Mm, yeah. Well, there was, there was more than one of the huts. Yes. That, well, 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 yeah. Yes and no. It was so just there, was there were. There was, there was a whole hut oh, was there? family. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, those I things into bread. I know. That's uh, I had those like, like Mama Hut, Mama June. Yeah, I had like the family of Star Wars <laughs> Star toys Wars. of huts. <laughs> so it was it was it was Honey Boo Boo for the <laughs> for the Star Wars franchise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. See, when I was growing up, I had the Jabba the Hut like set where i mean he was it was pretty good size it was like well <laughs> he's not gonna come in miniature <laughs> right, is he but it was it was actually a really big model and you actually like he made the slime so he like oozed slime it was oh, really that is cool so set. nasty <laughs> it was cool i played with that <laughs> what <laughs> I'm just, sorry i'm just i'm just thinking you see now it might you see Ladies and gentlemen, this is the this is the curse I carry because all I'm currently thinking about is two jabbers fucking each other, yeah. and I'm trying to figure out how that works. He which has a means a very long, extendable penis. I know, but it. Pro- I bet you. Do you know? I bet you they're. Oh, there it is. I bet you they're Aphrodites. I bet you under Jabba the Hutt. I bet you he has a huge vagina that he just sits on, so he could probably self fuck himself. <laughs> I bet you they're. I bet you they're dual sexuality, so there they you can. Go. I go had broke- that. That is so nasty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I've seen something like that. Yeah, I had that. It was actually really cool. Oh, I had the Ewok Village too. I just saw that. Oh, that's cool. That's it. Thank you, Miguel. What did Miguel do? He said the right word. And said oh. Aphrodite. Aphrodite mm-hmm. is a Greek god. Mm-hmm. Or maybe Roman. I can't remember. The Who's name. Herm then? That's a boyfriend. <laughs> Hermes. Yeah. Herma- Her- Hermaphrodite. It's the boyfriend. Like, look, I got cock, I can undo. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Jabber is asexual. I, I think he, he'll go, but I bet you he can take it and receive it. They probably just reproduce. And you know, you know the people that created this thought all that shit out. You know that because when you design stuff like that all day, you're going to think about that. I know because I've seen the people that design Cortana. <laughs> and believe me, they have come over that graphical image. I, well, maybe I have. And so, yeah, that just you know that they've thought this out. How does Jabba the Hutt have kids? Um, and does he get confused when he takes a shit? Like, I don't know if well, I've just like given a birth. Whole evolutionary lineage of jo- of Jabba the Hutt you from see, a snail to this giant, giant monster. You see, when he takes uh, a shit, he might have given somebody birth. Somebody came up with that. He might have given birth, or he's just taken a dump. That would be kind of oh shit! I just flushed a kid. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, Margaret. Because obviously Jabba the Hutt is yeah. married to Margaret. There you go. There you go. And there's Margaret. <laughs> Slubber the slut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What other aliens <laughs> in the entire universe are actually hot? Uh, I don't. In the in the Star Wars universe? No, in in any of them. The Prometheus alien. The. Pro- yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'd see to you good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Although he looked, ve- top- he looked what very are- asexual. I don't oh, think I he. I don't think are. he had a cock and balls down there. Um, so maybe he can you just type in hot aliens. Yeah. Uh-huh. What happens? It probably comes up with Selena Gomez. Uh, no, doesn't come up in any of the initial searches. Um, that is so nasty, Miguel. That is the nastiest thing I've read <laughs> for probably about twenty four hours. Oh, God. He lays out the jizz <laughs> and one of the lady ones slither over it. <laughs> that's so, so bad. But that could be a really cool porn scene. <sighs> oh, who's the girl from X-Men that she's like, wears the blue latex? Oh, she I looks like, like an alien. Yeah, I don't like her, though. Who is that? Uh, yeah, Rebecca Romaine played her. I think if Wookiee shaved, that would be hilarious, Big B. Because basically they'd be all hairy with like a triangle shaved piece of skin down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so you know where it is. <laughs> I, I, Mystique, that's it. Mystique, yeah. No, I've never. I've just, no. Um, the mother alien from Aliens vs. Predator. I wouldn't want to fuck that. Yeah, but you know there's some people who would. I, I'd, feel, I'd feel very intimidated at that point because I've seen her sack come off her. And that's a big hole. That's like gate, gate dot com, alien gate dot yeah, com. You know, some people would be in the like the whole like mouth thing that like, oh. comes out. Oh, oh, that's a no, whole no, no. genre. I know. Yeah, I know a guy <laughs> who's in Britain who will remain nameless, who is totally into alien fucking. Like that mm-hmm. is his thing, mm-hmm. and he thinks of ways of how he can actually fuck aliens like that. And he, yeah, I mean, he's just like, oh my god, you know, the alien with the with the mouth thing coming out, great blowjobs. 
Because, you know, you're getting one that's fairly tight and then, oh, real tight one, real tight one. There you go. Up and down, up and down, out. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Believe me, that, that was an evening at somebody's house I will never, ever forget because the discussion that took place, even I felt, ooh, I'm slightly uncomfortable now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, and I bet a lot of people like the, the, the ones from Avatar. Yeah, I would imagine a lot of people like that. They're making another one. I like the like, bunny from Zootopia. Is that an alien? No. She's hot as fuck. <laughs> so fucked up. God. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I do nasty things to that bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's the wrong with cartoon. me? Fucking cartoon. I know. I know. Cartoon. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Bigby says, if you mouth fuck the predator, you're actually going to get laid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, so, so what are so what are the hot alien people? Um, okay, so what are the ones? Let's have a thing. Uh, we can go through the. Uh, we can go through the. <sighs> I mean, so. I'm trying to. Ideas? I'm trying to. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, the Avatar one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that, there's okay. A, so there's the, a whole like porn genre on that. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I that's big. Yeah. Yeah, they did a porn parody of Avatar. Uh, Green didn't Girl they? from the Star Trek series. Oh, Apparently, yeah, is she, listed oh, as yeah. one of the top ones. Yeah, yeah, okay. She's kind of, she's kind of. Here's the thing, you know, and that's what I liked about Star Trek. When they needed to make someone hot, they just took a regular person and painted them a color, <laughs> and it was awesome because then you wouldn't, you know. Oh, what about the three titted girl in in Total Recall? Back on the original she one. Hot? No, but she had three boobs. How cool uh, is that? Okay. <laughs> it's like you can squeeze two and you still can motorboat them and, and have a spare nipple to <laughs> go up your nose or something. Yeah. Uh, Miguel said he would bang E.T. as he cries to go home. <laughs> 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 it's just messed up That's on dark. so many levels, that is. You want to go home? <laughs> see, I'd, I'd see. Show me your finger. <laughs> Put it, it up there, yeah. See, I ah. never would have expected something like that, you saying that. I just haven't so. got there yet. No. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, there's, there's a girl from uh, what's that one movie the Guardians of the Galaxy she's I haven't seen night. that yet oh you haven't no, oh haven't yeah the girl in pur- she's like purple right I don't know what color she yeah. is yeah yeah I think I know what you're talking about it's you should see it it's pretty good I know I've wanted to see it but and we just never have yeah. we just haven't and it's free everywhere so mm-hmm. so yeah that would that would that would be cool uh, the blue girl in fifth element mm, the blue girl in fifth element Oh, the blues singer lady? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She was kind of hot. She's got the right mouth. I was going to say, her, so, there's something about her mouth. But Keep, keep singing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be one minute. Zip. Um, Miguel said some of those Klingon bitches. See, I don't Kling- know what they look like. See, so Kl- Yeah, I mean, Klingon. I, I think Klingons. Uh, here's the thing, guys. I think if Klingons were real, we'd be fucked as a species because basically all our women would go with Klingon guys. Because you know that's going to be the biggest scene two they're ever going to get in their life. Yeah, and it's weird probably. because I, I think the Predator probably... And, and whereas the Predator alien strikes me that he's probably really crap in bed. And that's why he's so angry. You know, whereas, whereas uh, the... Um, uh, Jesus, what are they called? The Klingon lot... <laughs> the Klingon lot actually look like they're, they're more kind of Viking-y kind of... I suck my woman out. Even though he doesn't talk like that. <laughs> but that's how I think Klingons talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's Princess Aura in Flash Gordon. Is that how you say her name? I'm trying to think of that one. You got, you got, you know Flash Gordon. Yeah, I know. I love Flash Gordon. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. Uh, see, there's plenty of really uh, good alien. I can't really think of many. There. It, well, we're not really thinking of that many. The Borg Queen in Star Trek First Contact? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Really? The Borg yeah. Queen? Okay. And and it's, it's got to be aliens. It can't be like, in, you know, we can't say like Lara Croft because obviously that isn't, you know. Geez. I didn't say Lara Croft. No, I uh, They're saying Riddick. He was considered an alien. Uh, Riddick yeah, he's blind though isn't he uh, I think he yeah he's got like fucked up looking eyes yeah that's right yeah uh-huh. so yeah because the Chronicles Riddick that was Vin Diesel yes yeah okay so yeah. basically do you well that doesn't count because it's it's do you want to fuck Vin Diesel and most women are going to go yeah <laughs> you know so that doesn't really count we're on about hideous looking aliens that are kind of hot for some reason the Borg Queen is a good example 
Okay. Okay. Um, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, Klingon girls, yeah. I mean, no one would want to... No guy wants a Klingon girl, but every girl wants a Klingon guy. General Zod. Oh, he's fucking awesome, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'd face fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> actually, I wouldn't. I'd probably take it from him. That's probably the only guy I would actually go bottoms on. General Zod is fucking awesome. And well, I don't mean... Yeah. Oh, you mean hang on. Do after no, the crazy no. monster that he became? No, 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 no. <laughs> hang on. Just to put this in perspective, I do not mean the current Superman franchise bullshit. I mean Christopher Reeve's Zod. Who's the, who's the new Zod? Oh, I know. Some dick splash. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the new guy? Who's the new guy for for Zod? Actually, we could class Bubbles De Vere as an alien because she certainly isn't a human. Um, I don't like. Yeah, I know who he is. I just can't think of. I, who I, he is. I don't care. Okay, not but he so not, look, the, not the new Zod, no, Christ- the original Zod, Christopher Reeve Zod. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, aw- he's awesome because he just talks better. He's a better class of villain because he sounded British. So, um. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, now Leela from you... Futurama, one-eyed girl. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that would work. You want a contact lens? Um, no, they're saying you could, you you we should classify uh Rip or uh, Ellen Ripley. Ellen Ripley. Ripley aliens. No, cause because she's human. She died with the alien queen in her. Yeah, uh, yeah, but she, but she she was an alien. Human. I, I know she's not because but they're then saying... no because then we could go down the route of Resident Evil, right? And of course she's going to win because she's the hottest fucking thing ever, <laughs> and that's no good. That's that's pointless. No, really. Somebody's calling you. It's probably Miguel. You know, it's probably no, Miguel. It's a, it's a 207 number. So I guess technically you could put. That's not the school, is it? Um, uh, it could be. I don't. I don't know. Oh, they'll call you. Yeah, I'm on Periscope. So that's not really going to go really? well. It's okay. It's only Hermione at school. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You know it's not going to be that. Because we have one sick kid at home. So, so I'm, chances I'm, are... I, whoever gets bingo, like, is it the, the, the anus doing? that they're going to get is great. Because there is... <laughs> look, I, I, I don't know how to show that. Hang on. You put rubber bands around your Yeah, anus. I did. Well, it was... Look, oh, look. But, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look. There's, there's what like... What are you doing? No, there's weird stuff in it. Look. Oh, oh, hang on, look. Yeah, oh. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but that's <laughs> nasty. But I, I, I... <laughs> You'll want this foil anus. <laughs> this is awesome. There's some very sketchy stuff in there. I see what I, what I find funny. Um, and Bigby, you can just make a little another check on the gay Steve list. Um, you know, out of all the aliens we've been mentioning, the one you got excited about was Zod. Yeah. <laughs> can we just bang... Ban Big B from. Uh, from the, uh, <laughs> well, that that. The thing. From what? From keeping tabs. No, from, from speaker, just you know. I just, I'm the one that said it. I'm just telling yeah. them to keep tabs of it some more. What are you doing? I'm, tr- I'm trying to make sure that whoever called. Now, see, Marcus said, um, Serlina from Men in Black Two. Who? Serlina. I don't know who that is. Ethan? Anything? Uh, no. I I don't know who that is actually. Oh my God! Why is it? God, I hate... Uh, Motorola is a bunch of crap. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making sure this isn't actually our kid. Uh, okay, but they'll call my number if that's the case. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay, well, you said you were on Periscope. I didn't know if it Well, worked. it'll still come through. Oh, okay. It should still All come right. through. Mm-hmm. Okay. Put what on the list? Um, that you... Another one. That, that Out of all the aliens, you just choose chose Zod. I'm never going to mention Zod again. Why? Of course you will. No, I won't. <laughs> we have named so many like hot girl aliens, and you're just like Zod. I'd totally do him. <laughs> well, it is. It's just there's a certain there's a certain uh, what je ne sais quoi about uh, the original Zod. The new one was just a nasty trailer park version of him. I like, seriously the, the, new, the, Zod, the new Zod. You can imagine him growing up in a trailer park, driving a Dodge Ram 1500. God, Superman. Who Wrap was... around sunglasses. You fucking know it. He used to gel his hair forward just to make it look. Oh, is bad. this? Oh, that's Zod. Yeah, can't stand him. But the oh. original Zod, fucking sweat back hair, bit of a British accent, badass villain, killed people for no reason. Like that. <laughs> Only if he's in costume, though, right? So. Only if he's in a costume. Whoa, who's who? Hang on, Lara Flynn Boyle. Who's that? 
and she was like a bunch of worms. Oh, is that from the species thing? Oh, Syl. She was Syl from Species. Is that is that her? Uh, no, I don't think that's Laura Finn Boyle. Yeah, is it? but you can't have chicks that actually Natasha look human. Hendridge. You you can't have. You can't have aliens that look human because then it's kind of, you know, That's not it. they they lose no. out. So, I mean, there aren't really, there aren't an awful lot. I, I, I guess technically anything in the Star Wars universe is is not from Earth. So they are aliens. Right. I don't remember. I don't remember that in Men in Black 2. There was a chick in that. Yeah. Yeah, you'd probably like her. Selena. Mm. Uh, okay. To our tight black oh, her, stuff. No, no. No? No. I don't like that. Her hair's too big. <laughs> I like her outfit. Well, yeah, this I know. Turned to yet but another episode no. of Steve looks at random I do not. on Jane's computer. I, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what we've always done is really bad. <laughs> I, yeah, no. I. Yeah, I don't like her. I don't know. She's all right. But you like her outfit. Yeah, kind of. The problem I if she's got so much hair, you could pull it. See, that is a wig, and we all know it. <laughs> I am never getting caught out like that again. Never and ever. No, you you need to check a girl's hair before you pull it hard. <laughs> that is so gross. Yes, it is. It is. Nothing. <laughs> nothing will kill the entire year for you when you actually go and hold up, and there's like these like clips, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Get out. <sighs> yes <laughs> um so we spend star wars day thinking about aliens that are mm-hmm. hot from a female perspective what are what are hot aliens i, I mean you've seen most t- tell I me a know. film that you've seen a hot alien in. you're like they're all going to be guys yeah. though aren't they they're not actually you, you I, can't look at a i don't know you type in hot aliens and they all come up with girls yeah, except I'm, for riddick that's, and, that's, because, and, that's and, because we're guys yeah, and that's uh, what we do was, uh, jason statham in any alien movies yeah but that's yeah. the thing then isn't it it's you're just you're yeah. just like it's just a guy that's playing yeah. an alien so that's not as fun so uh, you know like i mean okay alien, like do you think darth vader guys. looks hot in his costume no but the new guy does what kylo ren yes that pussy fucking ass cry little whingy it's his cunt. costume it's his costume his oh is just God. his costume I not actu- as a regular i actually want to grab his hair <laughs> and smash his face into a stone cobbled road repeatedly because he called his dad or no he just has that kind of face i want to beat the shit out of uh, really no alien guys come up in searches I guess you could choose any of the Star Trek people. Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> any um, of the Star Trek people. I guess right. you could choose any of the Star Trek people. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not on about people. I'm on about... Okay, so st- does a Stormtrooper look hot? No. D- okay, Bobo Fett? No. Darth Vader? No. A Wookiee? You asked that. No. Uh, Yoda? No. Uh, any... I mean, I, are there I, any costumes that you go, oh yeah, fuck yeah. No, I if don't that, think if so. If that thing has a little flip up cap, I don't know. I'm, I'm at it. Uh, uh, no, I can't think of any. Girls leave actually... after a while on this show because it's just too misogynistic. Yeah, Stephanie's them. just like, what the fuck? Computers and Star Wars. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you um, know, I get you wet, girl. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't think of any. I can't think of guys. Hellboy. Can... Hellboy. <laughs> oh God, no. Um... Hot alien guys. No, I can't think of any hot alien guys. No. No hot uh, alien oh, guys. She, yeah, Stephanie's here. She said aliens are gross. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'd say the Prometheus guy. Yeah, I guess. And and I get he's probably not even male, but I'd he, say he's... I am all. <laughs> probably. And that's probably Ooh. what he sounds like, too. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah, he does. He's going to be like eight and a half feet tall. He looks really muscular. He's like, I am He all. sounds like David Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that would be hilarious wouldn't it because you know just imagine for one minute you know we have a a spaceship lands on earth and there's this big fucking dude gets out and you're just like (laughs) oh my god and he just he opens his mouth to start to speak and we're all like and it's just like i am all (laughs) (laughs) his penis just falls out below and it's a little teeny one but you can imagine it's like we're all scared shitless and then all he would have if he doesn't have a 14 foot dick 
if, if just this little one inch pops out from an eight and a half foot tall, the entire world will piss themselves laughing. <laughs> it, 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 you can imagine the scene. I am here to dominate the entire world. <laughs> oh my God, he's got a one inch penis. <laughs> like that, you know, that would be it. There's actually like a like a Mayan uh, god or something mm-hmm. that had like a, a a dick so long like he had it wrapped around him like a belt. <laughs> awesome. That's really? Cool. Mm-hmm. I'm looking this up. Oh, uh, cockalot. Cockapelli. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> ah, so <almost> there. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I I can't think of. See, Marcus I can't said really Ste- think of any. Steph hates sci-fi. Yeah, she's over here going, "Yeah, I hate it. I don't what? want to talk about but this." But why? It, sci-fi is cool because it gives you a glimpse of what could be. It's kind of like we, could, you know. See, I wasn't really into sci-fi much before, and mm-hmm. then I saw. I mean, I love Prometheus. Yeah, and you, I had that never was a game seen, changer for you. I had never seen the Aliens movies ever, mm-hmm. or Predator, or anything like that. And when I saw Prometheus, I mean, that's like one of my favorite favorite yeah. movies. And 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 then I watched it's all the one Alien of those movies, series, and right. I'm like, I'm a super fan. I mm-hmm. would actually say that's yeah. that's I like the Alien series over anything. Is it because there was an archaeological angle to it in Prometheus? Maybe is that the? I mean, I would be surprised if that's the only hook. But the, I know you you took to that film like yeah. a duck to water. I mean, you were just like into it completely yeah. and now whenever prometheus is on i mean oh we pretty, i always watch it. yeah we'll stop working if we if we happen to walk out in the kitchen and it's on that's it we're, we're not going back to the desk until we finish watching it and it's strange so yeah and and of course that got slated by a lot of people but we loved it i mean mm-hmm. i love that film it's it's probably aliens the second one uh-huh. and prometheus are probably my top sci-fi films yeah another saying what yeah. about jeff bridges and starman Starman was okay. Yeah, I liked Starman. I, I it's just uh have you seen Starman? Uh I think my parents watched it. I know yeah, they did because that was one I, of their favorites. Good, but yeah, it was a good I kinda movie, just carried so. on walking through the living room. I'm just going, nah, I don't care. Um <laughs> Wow yeah. dude, that's rough. Uh Big B saying what about his, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul? What, ab- what about Paul? Yeah, okay. Seth Rogen voice. Yeah. yeah, actually, that's like the ultimate alien, isn't it? Really. Paul is the ultimate yeah. alien. Well, yeah. he is because, you know, he's just, he's Seth Rogen, basically. <laughs> I mean, that's all it is. It's, it's pretty much what Seth Rogen thinks he actually looks like when he's high. Probably. It's, you know. It's, so that's what he always thinks he looks like. Yeah, pretty yeah, much okay. so. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I like I, Seth Rogen's voice. Oh, do you? Yeah. Wow, that's weird. But no, Paul, no, that does not do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I see. There you go. Put Seth Rogen's voice in the Prometheus guy. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of fucked up, right? Wow, <laughs> that's gonna work at all. <laughs> I, I just got an innie. Yeah. No, Steph says she loves his voice too. She loves his laugh. So. If there was a Prometheus like alien that came down to Earth right now and it stepped out and it was about to talk and then it had Seth it's Rogen's like, Whoa! voice, everybody would piss themselves laughing again. That's it, and 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 all women would go, "Hey, you call me." Uh, that's I okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm not the only person that thinks that. But His yeah. voice doesn't work on anything that's intimidating. No, 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 no definitely, definitely not. not. I you see. I I. See, I like the fact that most girls are not into sci-fi because when girls get into sci-fi, like proper, like Star Wars fan, they're annoying as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are because it, it's like, you know, because, okay, let's face it, right? You know, you have that thing just before you're about to say it, just go, you're going to say this and everybody's going to hate you just that little bit more. I'm having one of those do episodes you ever right now. That? Yeah, I do. Okay, I can't imagine do you ever... Does it ever stop you? Uh, no. Because... because <laughs> Okay, a woman. Uh, I'm so just say it. We know you're gonna say it in like two minutes if you don't say it now. Okay, when a woman is excited about something and talks about something, it's like nails on a fucking chalkboard. Their voices go higher, and so to have them talk about something <laughs> sci-fi related, it's like, oh my god, can you hear that? <laughs> just like, oh my god, okay. shut the fuck up. Okay, so you don't like when I talk about hockey? No, you <laughs> shout like a dude with, with hockey. Oh my god! That's what you're like. With no, ho- but I talk about hockey and I get excited about yeah, it. Yeah, it's not the same way though. No, you're you're not a chick though. 
<laughs> no, but you're not. You you okay. don't you. No, not, I I'm you know. I'm the man in this relationship. I'm aware of that. But yeah. So you know, just so I just her getting annoyed at you whenever you talk about something. I just whenever whenever yeah. you talk about chemical guys, yeah, she yeah. Gets pissed off. Whenever I've whenever I've met any woman that's into sci-fi, I uh-huh. actually within about two minutes I am so tired of them talking. But I like aliens and Prometheus and stuff. Yeah, I, I know love and that, that. I know, but it's like you're a fan of it. You like that, but uh-huh. you don't. You haven't gone into the like the deep. You know, it, it's not like oh, tell me about the uh, what are they called? The architects? Is that what they're called? They're mm-hmm. called no, engineers. Yeah. Tell me about the engineers. Yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> See, and that's why you're well, still. I'm not cool. like a super geek. That's on about when girls go super geek, they get super fucking annoying. Okay. I mean, so you, you just know, like them to look like they're super geek and shut up. Yeah. Okay. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just actually, trying to verify actually, that. Actually, a mute geek would be awesome. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that would be cool. A mute hot geek. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In a costume. Yeah, that's it. Star Wars t shirt, striped socks. You can wear whatever in between. I don't care. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> just if you cannot speak that would be awesome god I, I, it, no it's just but you know I find I find guys who are super geeks really annoying as well because it's like and I've got some friends who are like super super geeks that know the universe inside out and back to front on, on that sci-fi thing you know so if it's Star Wars mm-hmm. they know how the family trees work and, and things like that and I, I it's kind of cool but it, <sighs> I've seen two Star Trek fans arguing at a convention, and it is, you just kind of, you, you just want to laugh. Because, I mean, it's cool that they're passionate about it, but seriously, it's, it's, I, I, don't, I don't know, you know. I don't know. Yeah. That's what, that's what Predator I'm guy just, with the mask on. What? Predator guy with the mask on. I think Stephanie would even agree with me on that, even though she doesn't like sci fi. He's got powerful legs, so you know you get a good thrust in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, with the mask. With the mask, mm-hmm. yeah, the mask. So you don't is have to see hot. his like weird face. Yeah, yeah. I actually noticed that our dog Ripley looks like Predator when she yawns. <laughs> Her mouth is exactly like Predator she when she opens up. Yeah, yeah. When she opens up fully, she has very large cheeks. Yeah, she does. Yeah. That's <laughs> a... I would imagine if you if you blew a leaf blower into a mouse, she looked just like aliens. Yeah, a uh, Predator, <laughs> not aliens. <laughs> <laughs> now Marcus says his daughters are into Star Wars. Our daughters have no fucking idea what it is. N- no. Well, they pretend like they do, but they really don't. We actually spent $22 to buy the film, the original Star yeah. Wars, and they watched about halfway through it, and they were bored. Mm-hmm. Bored senseless. Yeah, they were. Actually, that was the that was the last film that uh, me, you, and Dad sat down and watched. Oh, yeah. It was Star Wars, because yeah. I pointed out the, star- the, the stormtrooper hitting his head on the door that's in the film. Oh, yeah. See? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, there we go. There's a dark note to end. <laughs> oh, well done, Steve. Oh, excellent. Let's, let's end the show on a high. Uh, Baby uh, wants to know: Is that why you try to sexually assault the dog? That's for many reasons. <laughs> no, the dog just reasons seems easy for understand. me. I d- she tries to avoid you at all costs. She does. Okay. See, that's she how does. you know when you're at a low point when the only thing easy for you is a dog. <laughs> and she tries to avoid an you. overweight dog. <laughs> Dude, when I'm well, sober, that's what. I, I know, but if I'm sober and at a bar, I do exactly the same thing. I don't know why that started. I wasn't meant... Oh, shit. Fuck. (sighs) Yeah. Oh, God. No, technically, they're also saying Superman. I just... Hey there, little kids. My name's Jared. (laughs) I'm a friend. Can I eat a sandwich with... No reason for me to play this. No. <laughs> yep. Sorry. I just I, I saw that on my list and I'm like so messed up. <sighs> so cool. Missy, you need to play the five dollar or the, yeah, the I five, don't have that five one inch anymore. I got it. Yeah, I know. whatever it was for Ethan, just so he will always hum that tune in his head. Oh, it's awesome! Yeah, yeah. I got to find. I actually do have it on the server. I just haven't. Tra- I was going to transfer it over. It's on the Asus, you know, the piece of shit. Hey. Sound panel that doesn't work. Oh, that's not my problem. Fucking useless thing. <laughs> it's just sat there as well with its light on. Please use me. No. You know what, Asus? I'm not. You I can didn't... sit there with the lights on all I you want. I never had a problem with that. Fucking useless piece of shit. 
that remind you of an Apple product. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they've been bought out by Apple. <sighs> I can't end the show like this. We're all just like, oh, God, we're bored. What, what, what more are you going to say? Give me a minute. <laughs> See, are vampires classified as aliens? No. No. Definitely not. Okay. Don't you dare fucking bring up an interview with a vampire, whatever bullshit vampire oh, film you God, like. No. Oh. Which one is it? Are you talking about interview with a vampire? I don't know. Which is the vampire film you like? There's a vampire that you think looks hot. Uh, no. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Killer. <laughs> okay. That was kind of cool. Actually, what's No, I cool? wasn't going to bring up I interview with a vampire. Sure. I was actually... There's a lot of, like, hot vampire chicks, so I was going to bring up those, but they're not really aliens. But no, not really. Just I mean, the underworld's kind of, of like... Around. More alienish, vampire-y, is she not? Yeah, I mean, we'll she's go not with that. from this world. <laughs> no, nope. right? The, uh, well, yeah, she is, isn't she? Yeah, I think she is. Twink night, fuck you, Marcus. <laughs> um, uh, he's, he meant to say Twilight, honey. And no, I don't. I don't like Twilight. No, God. <laughs> or maybe this, the version the most, you've seen was Twink Light. That was the most uncomfortable <laughs> period ever as a human being when the twilight series came out because to watch all these 30 year old women uh, get wet over a 15 year old boy was so there was a oh. whole there was a night we had like and and here's the thing just so you all have the oh visual God. image i do yeah. when i think of things like that i think of jabba, jabba the hut <laughs> there you go it's a guy thing <laughs> that is it's gross a guy thing. <laughs> that was not coordinated it wasn't no no, no. see Great minds think alike, or we're just very twisted and perverted. <laughs> I'll go with the latter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Marcus, did you? No, I just figured maybe you, you didn't just misspell Twilight, so you were trying to go, no, Steve's show, Twinklight. Yeah, something him that. and DJ can watch together. Oh my god, look at me glitter. <laughs> Jeez. More glitter, DJ Ken, more glitter. I wonder if there's a gay porn version of that called that. Oh, yeah. Called Twink Light. Yeah. There's a lot of... Do I see Ethan typing away over there? <laughs> Cause no, be, uh, that would be, notice that would be he's good. using his old laptop to search on it because he can okay. trash that one. His fir- his, Don't worry, he I already, just I already got looked his looked new laptop. Hot aliens on my new one. And yeah. gaysteam.com was his first All new right. search on his new no, laptop. Nobody got, nobody got uh, bingo today. No, twink yes. Light the movie, Gay Twink's Vampire Saga. There you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. It's there. It's there. All right. Well, Edmund, on that... Billa, and Egan. <laughs> oh yeah, and we all know that Egan's hot. You're gonna watch that later, right? I you? will actually. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Those vampire teeth are so convincing. <laughs> Which Don't one? worry, they come out. So there's not werewolves that you know. That's bears, huh? Slightly changed version. Okay. Let's go. Bye, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Go to the Jane and Steve show, obviously, and, and every time you listen, light. and watch for what? Twink light. Yes. Watch Twink light for tomorrow. Should I put homework. a link on that? Probably not. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, that's right. (laughs) All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye, guys. Be safe, and if you can't be, don't get caught. Bye. (laughs) 